Welcome back. One of the oldest rivalries in Florida high school sports was once forgotten for years. Middleton High School in Tampa and Gibbs High in St. Pete were bitter rivals across the bay for 40 years, but now the Tigers and the Gladiators are reviving that matchup for the next generation of football players. And as part of our coverage on Black History Month, ABC Action News reporter Mason Morrow shows us how this tradition holds a deeper meaning that transcends sports. I was nervous because it was like my first time actually playing in the game for real. The first time Matthew Wilson took the field in a Middleton Tigers jersey, history awaited him. A history he'd only just learned of. Resuming history where it left off. The Tigers varsity football team traveled across the bridge into St. Petersburg for a warm August kickoff last season. Playing an opponent outside their district <laughs> is unusual, but the Gibbs Gladiators are a more familiar foe than Wilson and his teammates realized at the time. When we first came off the bus and you see the other team there warming up. We're just getting out, getting ready to warm up and the energy feels different and everyone's getting hyped up and stuff. And that's when it really hit me that it's like, we're really doing this. What the Tigers and Gladiators did that night was revive a long storied rivalry between the two football programs and historically black high schools. We had to be ready for those guys because it was tough. And we, we, wanted, we wanted to brag and right. We wanted to make sure we beat them and beat them good. Thomas Jet Jackson was a 1960s gridiron star for Gibbs. Jet scored more touchdowns than he can recall against Middleton and other black football teams across the state of Florida. The only teams he was allowed to line up against back in his heyday. Gibbs and Middleton played as part of the Florida Interscholastic Athletic Association with 30 other historically black high schools in the state. Until 1968, when Florida schools integrated. We had a lot of pride when we stepped out on the field because we were representing Gibbs High School. And we wanted to make sure that Gibbs' name reigned all over the state of Florida. We wanted to put fear in people's heart. A battle cry the gladiators of today resurrected nearly 60 years later on their home field against the Tigers. We wanted to give them a show that, you know, remind them of the old times um, back then. Knowing our past history, it meant a lot for bragging rights. Gibbs Jr., Marcus Calvin, and his teammates grabbed those bragging rights, shutting out Middleton 44-0. We did start off the rivalry rekindled the rivalry 1-0. But the return of the Battle of the Bridge wasn't just about the competition. I can remember as we walked uh, onto the field before pregame, I kind of nodded at their head coach, uh, Coach Murph, and he was like, yeah, Coach, we're here to do something special tonight. Reminding rivals across the bay of the bond, the ones who took the field before them formed decades before. I could feel the history while I was playing on the field. Soon enough, the rivalry won't be referenced in the past tense as the opposing head coaches work to set the series up for years to come. Keep building, keep building. You know, rivalries only get better with age. So the more we play this game, you know, the bigger it's going to get, the more exciting it is for the kids. And recapture the spirit the schools once share. Playing in unity, playing together. In Tampa Bay, I'm Mason Morrow, ABC Action News.